All right, in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to add a blob column for storing, say, an image uh, into a table that is already existing and into an application that's already existing. So here we see, for example, um, we have a, a, a screen here. It's a report with the first name, the last name, the email, and, and some other information about a coach. And if we hit edit, we can see our form over here has the same information. But perhaps we say on this table we want to put in the picture of the particular coach. Uh, how do we do that? Well, to start with, we're going to go back to our page designer and go into SQL Workshop. And inside SQL Workshop, we're going to find uh, the object or the table uh, that stores this information. Now, to begin with, uh, we can see our table here. We're going to go ahead and add a few columns. So our first one is going to be uh, our blob. All right, our next column uh, is going to be our MIME type. This is just a required field for the application. And this will be a var card too. And typically, I put the length of 50. We're going to add another column, uh, which will be our file name. Also a VAR car too, and typically I put this in at about 200. And last but not least, we're going to put a, a date column uh, down here, and I typically call this create a date. How about that? So those are the columns that are required to, to add the image uh, and store it in this table. Uh, we'll go back to our application builder real quick. And now what we want to do um, is first uh, modify uh, the, the form here. So if I click on the form, uh, we can see it does not include that field, but we definitely want to include it and upload it. So this form is actually on page six. I'm going to click to edit page six. Over here is the coaches, uh, to, you know, form table here. You can see it coming off the schema uh, and table. So I'm going to go ahead and say synchronize the page items. This will bring in all of our table changes directly into the low code tool. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hide uh, these metadata fields uh, from our form. Finally, I'm going to go back to our, our picture right here. Um, we'll call it Coach Picture. We're going to set this as a file browse. And we're going to want to save it to a blob column. Uh, and then we're going to want to enter the column names that we used uh, on our table. So we'll enter All right, so one important to note is these three columns, uh, while you can, you can name them differently in your table, uh, but they do need to match up uh, to whatever you used on your table. So they have to match up uh, to these. Let me just make sure I copied that correctly. Yep, I did. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the display uh, download link. Uh, and optionally, you can include a, a maximum file size. So for me, uh, a max file size of a little over 2 meg is, is probably good. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Now, one of the things that I did here was I intentionally made a mistake, because this is something that took me a few minutes to figure out, which is if I go ahead and pull up this form, I'm going to get an error. It's like, hey, what did I do wrong, man? I uh, put all the, the same names in. Uh, what it is, is these names are actually case sensitive, and this took me you know, a little bit to figure out, but let's go ahead and see if we change them to all caps. Hit save again. And we can go back here and we'll see that our form comes right up and we've got our file chooser. 
All right, so let's go ahead and upload a picture for Coach JJ Homer. And we will apply our changes. Next, let's go back to our object browser here and just look at the data. And we can see over here that on upload, we've got uh, our picture, but we also have the associated metadata that's automatically put in. So now the question is, is how do we display that picture uh, in our table? So for starters, let's go ahead and hit the edit button. So we're editing page four. Next, we're going to have to find uh, the component on the page. So this is uh, the component where we show, um, you know, add or edit coaches. And just like we did before, we're going to want to synchronize the columns. Okay, now one of the things that you'll notice over here is the items that come back uh, are the new ones in the table. So we'll go ahead and hide the MIME tape, the file name, and the create a date. And now comes not the tricky part, but uh, something I definitely needed to learn. Um, when I built this page originally, I kind of used the wizards over here. And you can see that we're pulling um, you know, straight from the, the coaches table and everything. Um, but what I need to do here is flip it from uh, the tabler view to the SQL query. It'll actually populate the query uh, up here. And then I need to specify to pull the image into the table itself. Um, I actually have to pull this as a dbms lob git length. So I'll go ahead and do that and OK. I'll hit save. You need to go back down to the item. And it'll sometimes, for whatever reason, flip it back to plain text. So we want to do display image. And then. Uh, reset these uh, variables. So go ahead and click save. And now I can hit refresh, and there you go. You got your picture in the table.